Good morning, guys. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Um, let me just get myself organized here. I'm gonna share my screen. Okay, I got a triple layout. I got a new layout for the screen. How's everybody doing? Somebody give me a sound check. Let me know if you hear me okay. In chat, ask Boris or in Zoom. Um, sorry, where are you guys? Where's your, where's my Zoomy? Okay, here we go. There's my little Zoom thing. Okay. I want to see chat. Where's chat? Somebody type in chat. Let me know if you guys um, hear me and you're good to go. I'm gonna run you through a couple of interesting um, developments. Hey, Miguel, good morning. Okay, I gotta, first of all, I gotta apologize guys today. My dog scratched my eye and uh, watch, by the way, watching NASDAQ right now, very carefully um, to see, you know, where it's going. If, we, if, if this was just a, uh, uh, you know, test to the bottom and then we're gonna reverse back up to the top. We have a trend buy, trend sell, and if that if that turns into another trend buy, ooh, look at this, look at this big reversal move. Um, we'll uh, we'll play it. Um, for now, we don't you know we don't have any uh, any trigger candles. This is a trend sell in um, Dow, trend sell in the um, in the S and P, but we need a second trend sell for us to uh, to confirm a trade here. Um, if the if the uh, Nas turns into a trend buy. I uh, would have a trend buy, trend sell, trend buy. That would be a sequence that we definitely want to play. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run you through some of the nuances I did just before the market opened. I'll show you the trades. But, um, um, okay, what I was saying before is my dog scratched my eye this morning in a, in a freak little accident. She was just st stretching. She's a monster beast, and she was stretching on the bed, and her paw just just really punched my eye. Um, uh, unfortunately. I, you, you, none of you probably noticed, but I actually have one working eye. My other eye, I had um, LASIK surgery and, and LASIK on, on uh, the second eye just didn't work. So I actually operate on a, on a single eye and this frigging eye is the one that she, she punctured. So I am like seeing everything a little blurry this morning until um, this, this bruise goes away. So, you know, uh, bear with me this morning. That's what I just wanted to tell you. I'm, you know, my, my visibility is not the best. Um, but I, I, I can still see the signals, which is all I really need to see on the chart. Anyways, um, I wanted to show you something interesting that happened in the NAS, how I traded the NAS this morning. And you'll get a, you know, you get a good idea um, of my thoughts. Before I do this though, hang tight. Let me get into, um, I need to connect into the other account so that at least we have the account ready for us. Log into trade account. I wanna make sure I got it. Okay, and then Algo, we're good. Um, ah, damn, now I need to, sorry, let me just, uh, MMQ, chart window. Okay. Uh, wow, NAS is really popping big time. Big turnaround, there's a total fake out on the, um, um, on the pre-open, which I played, you know, which was fine. I totally played this. Um, so I'll show you, I'll show you, this is the, this is my, on my personal account, I'll show you, you can see the sequence of trades here and I'll show you, um, you know, what happened. I'll, I'll run you through them just one second because I think the, the um, analytical structure we have is actually quite good. So, if you, if you look at the analytical structure we have here, remember um, my, you know, my original thought here was, okay, we have a sell, then we have a buy, buy. So you know that's a, that's a buy signal, right? I get long and then we start drifting over here and we get a sell signal. Remember, and my whole point is that, you know, we should never get negated by a sell signal. That's clearly, the whole idea is buy, buy is supposed to go up. Once we get, once I got negated by a sell signal, there's two things you can do. You can say, okay, I'm going to stay here until it gets stopped out, or I'm actually going to reverse because this seems to be um, market price action is telling me something very different. This pressure on pressure on the index, which I did, I reversed, and you could see that. Where's my thing? Um, 
you could you know you could see it in the um oh no sorry this this is the other account uh I'm letting it, I'm letting this uh, this this price action price action play out. We're not going to chase it, so we'll just you know we'll see we'll see how it plays out. But anyways, you know, so you see it. I, I flip myself out of this trade and get long. Excuse me, get short, and that short just just hits like a like a stone right then and there because I listened to the signals instead of trying to um, you know to force the trade. Now what's interesting is that this is very you know obviously really a lot of fake out price action um, because this downward uh, signal then immediately gets reversed on the on the open and on the open they just 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 barely i mean the market nasdaq was like only five basis points up before the open and it just completely came up with a, with a huge power move whereas um the dow and and the s p which were relative strength they were like 25 basis points up um before the open actually now became relative weakness and this is one of the things that really um uh you know makes you uh chuckle or certainly feel the pain of, um, of the equity market. The equity markets will do everything in their power to completely play mind games with you. Because if you're trading, if you're looking at, at this pre-market, you're like, oh, it's obvious that now a Dow and NASDAQ are relative strength. That's where the buy orders are gonna come in. That's where I wanna play. And it's basically a complete fake out. I mean, the thing that I love about the equity market is it's a real big lie most of the time. Okay, we've got a trend buy, we've got a trend buy, trend buy. I'm waiting for this thing. We got about 58. Oh no, go, go, go. I'm long. Okay, so I'm long on this um, on this trend buy. Oh shit, this is the wrong account. Uh, all right, fuck it. We'll, we're gonna go on this uh, on this account. We'll, we'll play it out. Okay, let me go in any other account too. Let me do it in the other account because this is the uh, this is the account that I wanted to show you. Okay, trend buy. Oops, I'm gonna go. Let's. Uh, so uh, you know, NAS today could could really be uh, playing games with us every which way but Sunday. But I am basically uh, taking this sequence: buy, sell, buy, as my idea of uh, further extension. But we had a very very weird move here: big big trend to the downside, big pump to the upside. Now a trend buy over here, way above the uh, the moving average envelope. So we could certainly come back down. This you know this this is opening market rotation, which always tests the um, the will of everybody um, in the market. So you know let's see let's see if it plays out. Um, but it is you know it is to spec, it is to to our to our structure. So we'll just um, let it play out and see how it goes. Um, in the meantime, the other two have a trend sell signal, but we you know we don't we don't participate until we get a um, second trend sell signal because we need two trend sell signals here, especially since it's very very light movement um really hard to say i mean the market the market just i mean this is, a, this is a crazy thing like what was you know what was this opening opening ramp and then a complete complete unwind it really feels like uh somebody's playing games here with futures on both sides the the, the you know even our signals are totally falsified here for, for the time being but you know i'm going to stay true to the strategy even if the opening even if the opening signal is not um is not good just because that's the whole point you know not strategy is consistent signals are not so we have to you know we have to stay um stay true to the um to the position um but it is weird i mean I, you know i'm trying to figure out what the hell is going on here as far as uh price action um looks like to try and take it back up so let's see So the big round number, obviously, for 14,300, um, that would be the target of the bulls. Big divergence between NASDAQ and uh, S&P and, and Dow now. So again, I'm trying to figure out what the hell's going on. Um, but they seem to be plowing into the, um, into the NAS still.
I don't love this um, this signal. I'll be honest with you. I really, really don't love the signal. Um, it looks like it looks like opening market rotation fake, but you know it is what it is. We'll um, um, we'll stay with it because because it's it's a pretty legitimate signal for us. It's you know it's it's a buy sell buy signal, um, and we're going to just be stay patient and see if, you know if we can let it play out. Um, there's clearly a big big tug of war here. Um, between, you know, in front of the round number. Um, it's a question of whether, whether it's gonna be enough volume to, to, to lift this thing up to, um, um, to the round number and take it out. Uh, we're definitely struggling. Like I said, you know, um, look at the look at the wicks on the uh, on the end of this uh, trade. Um, it definitely seems to be uh, having a hard time, but I'm st I'm gonna I'm gonna stay with this. I'm just gonna try and trust the um, the structure and see if uh, if the market will lift. All right, let's see if the buyers can lift it. Looks like we're going to try and run the 1300. Okay, good job. All right, I stayed patient and um, the trade finally hit because this, the, the strategy you know, was sound. It was very, very testy. It was opening market rotation, but um, you, know, you can see the value. We just, you know, we basically hung tough until, um, until the trade finally hit. Um, Okay, let's see. Anybody um, anybody um, held the trade? 
with me. Because this was a very, very nasty little volatile trade. Good job, Connie. Good job, Connie. Good job, Jonathan. Good job, Karen. Good job, Cheryl. All right. All you guys. All you guys. Good job. Everybody in the room, everybody who's watching for the uh, for the course, it's a good way for you to uh, to learn and observe. We, we're probably going to go. It looks like, I th as I said, I, I thought that you know, the, the battle here was to the round number. They're probably going to push it. Once they push it to the not round number, um, there's a reasonable chance here that, you know, um, I think we could we could have a decent trend move here, uh, but we'll see. I mean, it's it, it's been a relatively choppy um, morning, but even as choppy as it was, um, my buy sell buy structure is really really good at uh, putting us most of the time on the right side of the flow, on the right side of the flow, right? So let me um. You guys want to let's just play back, right? We're going to take a pause. We got no, we have no signals setting up for for a while now. So let's just take a pause. Let's do. I'm going to call this 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 uh, new feature the Boris replay. Let's do the overnight replay in um, in all the indices, and then we'll go into currencies. And I'll show you. Actually, it's interesting. I started I started looking at currencies even on um, on on shorter term time frames because the the buy sell buy feature. Um, really could could work very well. Um, okay, so let's go to NAS. And remember, we're only interested in the shift changes, regime changes. So all the way up until like one o'clock in the morning last night, there was no, we had no trades because this was all a continuous uptrend and we have to give up all of that continuation of the uptrend. So here we get um, a little bit of a weakness. We get buy, sell, buy, right? If you get a buy, sell, buy, you have, you have two choices here. You could have taken this to the upside because this was a corrective move that kind of got recorrected. That would have worked fine. Or if you wanted to confirm and wait for a second buy, buy, sell, buy, buy, still would have worked. Still would have worked. You still would have been in good shape. So again, now you're plus 10 either way, either way you take the trade. Now we have a more significant regime change going to the downside. So now we have a buy, sell, and we have a sell. So now we have a complete confirm of a sell signal, buy, sell, sell. We short here another plus ten, so now you're plus twenty on the day before five o'clock in the after, in the morning. Then we, you know, then we uh, forget everything else because there's, there's no we have regime change, but no signals, no signals, right? So we have a sell buy sell. Now, if you keep pressing the sell side, I mean, I'm not going to count this, but you certainly could have taken this thing because it was a sell buy sell. You could have taken this to the downside, and it would have been another ten, so you would have been plus thirty. But let's just say. You know, you're saying, okay, we've already had a sell, sell mode. This is secondary sell mode. Maybe I'm going to pass on it. Either way, it's a legitimate signal. It's an interpretive signal. I leave it to you if you wanted to take it or not. Okay, so now we are, uh, you know, plus 30 if you, if, if you want to take that signal. Next, we have, um, you know, we have this little inkling, which is, what I, which is what I was telling you here, that I had, you know, the buy, um, you know, uh, the sell buy buy, right, which I was like right over here into the trade. And then very unusual. Usually, when we have a sell by buy, it's it's going it's either going to go to a take profit or a um, um, or a target. But before it's excuse me, you're going to go to to take profit or a stop. But before we get to the stop, we get a trend sell, and I'm like, oh, that's effectively a stop. I get short over here, as I showed you in my account, and that was another plus ten. So you, either either you're plus thirty or plus forty on the on the day. And then finally, this last trade which we took live. Which obviously, you know, if you, you you could have held it all the way to plus ten, so now you're plus fifty on the day, um, uh, on Nas, and that's you know that's a very nice replay on the night's trade on the strategy. If you tr traded everything perfectly, if you didn't, you could you, you certainly were at least plus ten, plus twenty, um, depending on how you took the signals. Either way, I think a pretty pretty um, impressive uh, application of the uh, of the idea. Um, looking at the Dow. Okay, now Dow, we're trading with a 2040 um, volatility spread. Uh, on the Dow, we have, okay, so basically, you know, again, upward regime all the way until like three o'clock in the morning. The Dow turns negative. We have a buy, buy, we have a buy, sell, sell. Sell over here gives us plus 20 on the Dow, right? Then we got nothing because it's all continuation signals. Then we have a reversal. We have a sell, buy. No, 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 no confirmation of, of the of the buy. If you actually, you literally had a sell signal here on the open, right? Um, and actually, it was a very good sell signal. It was a um, 
sell signal at like 931. But, you know, it, it, it's insanity. If, you know, if you wanted to step into the, in, into the jaws of the giant, it was a 78. You had to stop. You had to stop at 40. So you certainly survived, survived the, the 40 stop 20. You know, you would have been plus four, basically two positive trades on the, on the Dow if you literally took every sig single signal. For now, there was only one that was a leisurely trade you could have taken. We certainly can have a second trend sell signal on the Dow here, um, you know, before, before maybe we, um, we, we wrap up for the day. And if that occurs, that's a legitimate sell for us. But for right now, we're still, we're still in the first sell segment, so nothing is going to be happening. And then the um, S&P was really good. I actually traded that myself as well. So S&P structure was like this, basically. So we are, you know, we, we're in an upward regime, then we have a negative regime. Um, at around five in the morning, you get a, um, you know, confirm of a trend sell signal my, plus two over here. Then you just ignore everything else. You ignore everything else. You ignore everything else until you get a change of regime. So you have a, um, so this, you know, uh, this is, it's, it's not even that interpretive. I actually traded this in a, in a perfectly legitimate way. Let's say buy, sell, buy. It's very weird how, you know, usually it's, it's, it's very tight. This one is a sort of a buy, sell, buy with a very wide variance. The range is really, really wide, but it doesn't matter. Um, it's a legit, it's a legitimate um, buy, sell, buy signal. So buy, sell, buy. I get long over here into the, basically 39, 50, 39, 40. It goes to 42. You know, there's a, there's a, Beautiful plus two, so you have plus four on the um, uh, on the S and P. Now we're just twiddling our thumb. Now we, you know, now it's kind of like a buy sell buy buy sell sell. We have to see we we'll have to see how the S and P you know develops. But you can see you know that the overnight when we do when we do the um, what I call this this feature I already forgot I already forgot what we we would call it um, trade review. What I call this um, chart review. Um, uh, so, uh, you know, on chart review for the overnight chart review, that's what we'll call it. We'll call it the overnight chart review. All three indices perform pretty well. Um, and obviously we have the, you know, with the whole, we have the whole trading day in front of us as far as that goes. Now, this is where it gets interesting. Let's go to the five minute charts. Cause you know, you really can't, can't putz around with uh, one minute charts, but let's go to the five minute charts on, um, let's go to Euro. Sorry, let me go to Euro. Um, pound and uh, you, you, can, you can already see I was, I was long right here I mean, you, can, you, can already, you can already see that was a beautiful little trade and uh, cat I actually like here's the triumvirate I like to trade into, into the North American session I like to trade uh, sorry let me shut uh, I'm on the wrong one da, 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 pound. you know what let's do it this way why am I doing it why am I making my life hard for myself euro pound cat or euro pound cat this is the the trifecta that we want to trade for the north american open and by north american open i mean like anywhere from 6 6 a.m in the morning on so let's go to the five minute chart here on the caddy um on pound and on euro five okay and again we're going to use our we're going to use our little um our little structure you can see trend of, excuse me buy sell buy beautiful trade here 28 trading, we're just going to trade with a 10, 20. We're looking for 38. Obviously, it makes it nice, a nice, clean trade. Um, cable was beautiful. Sell, buy, buy. I actually came in over here on this one at around, um, I, you know, I, I was even like late. I think I came in around in, into, the, into the 80s on this one, and it still worked, um, you know, beautifully for, for a 10. And Caddy is uh, just, you know, it's just floating. There's no signals here because it's, it's very deep in trend and we don't have any signals. But, you know, um, the thing is, this structure is so robust, in my opinion, that remember I said to you, we can't trade currencies because they're just always so useless and they're always you know, going back and forth. But by decoding the, um, the, the, the underlying you know, trend flow with, with our uh, trend signals, we're, I think, able to, to, to genuinely make, uh, make um, decent day trades on, uh, on currencies, on, on five-minute chart. Now, obviously, for those of you guys who want to go on a longer-term charts, you can do that as well. But I just wanted to show you the... Um, the short-term ideas um, that we're developing. If you guys want to, you know, if you want to cycle through, let's just go on, on this bottom chart. We'll go full full force, and let's just cycle through and just see what's, you know, what's happening in the five-minute chart. If anything is setting, if anything is setting up, um, nothing on Aussie Kiwi. 
yen, euro yen, pound yen. No, I mean, you know, like it's all, they've, they've all been in sort of like long, long term trends. It's no, there's no um, uh, possible moves here. Pound Swiss, Euro Aussie. Your RC has been in a, in a long-term, you know, sell regime. But the point is that, you know, all of these um, sell regimes can be flagged down the road. By the way, remember, I remember our uh, kind of a trade for the summer, which is, which is short Euro Kiwi. That's finally starting to really work now as, um, as you know, that, that we were like sort of looking at that at 171 on the record when we first did our summer trades recommendation. Now it's trading like 69. So, I, you know, I'm, I'm target. I thought 66 was a reasonable level for Euro Kiwi to get to in the summer. So I think it still could go there. That's finally working. Um, um, here's, you know, here's um, Swissy. Swissy just sent a beautiful signal, six o'clock. Uh, buy, sell, sell. You short at the 78s, it's 55. You, you know, easy 10 points, right? Pound Aussie, pound Aussie, you have to trade 20, 40, obviously much bigger volatility spread. Pound Aussie is actually a sell right now. Like, I mean, it's, we're late, we're late. We should have been sold in the 40s. It's actually 20, it's, it's, it's too late for us. If, we, if we'd come in like, you know, 10, 15 minutes ago, um, if we sold the 40s, um, it, it, it effectively, you know, is already, is already almost at, at target. But it's another, another good example of where, you, you know, you could have found trades if you were looking as you were cycling through this. Um, and, you know, um, this, is, this obviously lends itself, I was gonna say, this obviously lends itself to a beautiful, um, ability for us to uh, to create a scanner, right? Um, so Daniel and I are, are working on the buy sell buy sell buy buy you know structure to first get that into the into the EA. But ultimately, once once we codify that, we can then create a scanner, and the scanner can pick up you know pick up these patterns. It's like an ABC pattern, right? It can just pick up that buy sell buy sell buy buy pattern for us across all these things, and then we can get um, notifications. And then we don't have to just kind of manually scan through out of this stuff. But I just, you know, I just wanted to run through the currencies with you guys and show you um, everything that's going on. All right, let's go back to the one minute chart on everything. Let's go back to, um, um, see what's going on over here. Oh, sorry, this should be over here. NAS is over here. NAS is looking good. I told you NAS, is, NAS um, was going to look good here for, oh, sorry, it's in a five minute. I got to go to one minute. What the hell's going on? Here's the one minute. Yeah, look, remember I told you NAS, they're going to take out the 300. And they definitely did. Um, here's the, uh, um, here's the, yes, here's the DAO. DAO is really looking Miz. And here we need um, the S&P. So S&P is recovering. S&P possibly, possibly, possibly may give us a trend buy signal. So that may, that may be our only other trade for the, uh, for the power hour today. Uh, you know, we'll see how that goes. I'm not gonna do any idiotic scalps. I'm not gonna do any, any off menu trades today because honestly, you know, my eye is killing me and I just, um, um, I'm just trying to, uh, um, you know, conserve my energy a little bit here. The S and P isn't going to is isn't going to send us a uh, trend buy signal until the the green trend itself, you know, widens out a little bit, becomes becomes more substantial. But um, uh, oh no, it's giving it to us right now. I think it was I guess it's widened up. All right, let's see if we can we can play this uh, play play the, the S and P. Do I even have the S and P? Of course I don't have the S and P. God damn it. Uh, okay, let me get the S and P. Uh, all right, if we're gonna have to do this, I might, I might have to do this virtually, or I might have to chase it. 
M E S U. Okay, let's see if we can do this. Uh, all right, we're gonna, we got 13 seconds. So I'll wait, I'll wait, I'll wait. All right, I'll go 43. Screw it. Um, I'm gonna try and go for two. So that means I gotta go for 45 with a four stop. Let's see if I can make this on the s and I'm trying to keep it clean here. All right, so we'll, we'll I'll move this uh, off chart. We can keep it like this. This is kind of cool, right? This layout where you guys can see the uh, the live trading count and the uh, and the signals in um, in a decent way. So this is a buy sell buy on the S and P. Um, we'll see if we can extend a little bit further. Um, you know. Really interested. I'm kind of surprised that the Dow is so um, so divergent. I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out if something must be weighing on the Dow. Um, um, yeah, S and P is uh, okay. Oof, we got clipped. Wow. That was minus four. That got clipped very badly. Okay, that one that just did not work at all. Sorry, guys. Um, that's super fast. I don't. That looked like. A, I was gonna say. You know what? What I really like is just if I'm gonna be scalping a little bit today, is um, um, is a NAS because NAS looks relative strength here. Um, Wow, it looked like a bullshit trade, man. Wow, that was like a bullshit move in the Dow. All right, let's just try. I'm I'm just gonna play a little bit with a NAS here to the upside. We'll see if that works a little bit. Um, yeah, after we test it, you know, we're coming back to to the moving average. Let's see if uh, if it holds. But maybe you know the market may be just turning. I mean, this was just a, it could have just been a you know bad weak signal. I mean, it was a very very thin signal, um, and the uh, S and P is definitely turning turning big negative against us here right now. So we'll see. Um, this is just a, I, just a play trade. It's, it's not a strategy trade. So I'm just telling you that up front. Um, That 42 area, 42, 45 in the S&P was been a big resist, but I kind of, it really feels like, you know, all right, I'm going to go back into this just, you know, because now, because it looks like they bought this over here and it looks like it just, it was just a flush. So I'm going to try and trade this again. Um, and it looked like it was a bogus flush. I'm going to give it, they're, they're preserving the, the uptrend. They kind of bought the bottom. I'm going to trust that we might have, um, a second uh, run to the upside here a little bit, but we'll give it a shot.
All right, let's see if we can uh, pull this up a little bit here. Okay, so yeah, my, you know, we got clipped on the, on the strategy trade in a, in a in, in, it happens, you know, in a, in a really weird, funky kind of a sweep, but because it stabilized, it came back up. I can't, I went back into the trade on the S&P and that, you know, that trade worked out. So, um, so, so be it, you know, we just, we got to, uh, that's just, you know, sometimes the, uh, the way the, the, uh, the dice rolls, that was a really, really weird flush, right? Because um, the overall flow and tenor of the market still remained relatively positive. So, and, you know, um, the, the NAS was positive, even the, uh, the Dow is, is curling positive a little bit. So I can, you know, that's why I decided to take the second trade. So, okay. I mean, you know, it wasn't horrible. Um, um, but, you know, we did get, we did get clipped on this one trade. Um, there was a, a, a strategy trade that just simply didn't quite make it. I don't, I, don't, I don't know if any of you guys went in for the second time around, but the second time around certainly, you know, certainly working much better for us um, as a trade, right? Um, my here, I'm just going to close out this this dumbass trade. I don't even know what I'm doing. Okay, I'm just, I just closed out the the NAS trade because I'm really not watching it. That was just a uh, scalp trade. I'm, I'm really, I was really focused much more on the strategy trade. Um, and, you got, you know, and I promised I wasn't going to, you know, scalp off of the uh, bad ideas. Did anybody, anybody go back for the second time around? Nope. All right. Yeah. I mean, it's, uh, um, it, it was really, you know, a, a, what we call a bad bounce in, uh, um, in the market and it happens, but the bigger point I wanted to make is just, you know, how robust the strategy is, right? Strategy is really, really good. Um, this was just simply, you know, a, vo a volatility wobble. We, it, 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 the direction of this move was up. We just simply, we, there's two bad, two bad things that happened here. The signal bought up too much. And then we had this really weird um, flush because there may have been, there may have been just simply a big order. Like some, that's, that's the point. You can't, um, you can't fight randomness. And this looks like it was a big order. They just came in, flushed everybody out for one second because this, this kind of a big flush in one second suggests a big order. And then the, the original direction of the move resumed, which is what we wanted. And you know that's why I took the second trade, and the original direction of the, of the move, you know, came in. Even even this, you know, you can, you could just see when you know when you're trading. Um, and this is especially true. You know, this is what I love about the uh, um, the new and analytic structure. When you're at the beginning, remember we're really good at picking the beginning of the trend, right? When we have that trend buy sell, you know, buy sell buy structure, and a kind of a development of the trend, and then the price starts to come back up above the um, the upper end of the moving um, envelope. Then buying down, which is what I was just basically trying to do, just buying down over here, um, is is always a decent idea because you have at least one or two waves up. You know, you're you are on the right side of the flow um, if you're just simply scalping, not necessarily following the strategy, right? Um, and it's always you know it's always generally pretty good to be on that right side of the flow. So um, especially with Nasdaq, which is which is a very um, you know very choppy, wavy, but but very uh, fluid move. Um, into the right direction. If you kind of think about this visually, imagine if you drew a straight line through the middle of all these candles, which is like, for those of you who know statistics, this could be kind of like a regression line, right? If you, if you drew a regression line through this thing, what you will see amidst all of this choppiness is an upward, you know, almost a 45 degree angle trend. And that is what, that's the side you want to be on, um, you know, with all of our indicators. That's really, you know, that's that's the sweet spot of success that helps you uh, be on the right side of the trade. Um, you know, regardless of whether you're trading tiny uh, increment, you know, time increments like one minute or larger ones. So that's it, guys. Um, I gotta go. My, uh, I you know, I gotta go figure out and uh, nurse my eye a little bit. I'm really sorry um, for a short session this uh, today. It's gonna be a little bit shorter sessions. Um, today and tomorrow, and maybe even Friday because of Trader Fest, because I still got to deal with all that. Uh, hopefully, my eye will fully heal by then. Um, but um, you know, not a bad session. You know, we 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 stayed true to the to the strategy. Um, we got clipped on just one bad trade, but we you know we made money on all the other trades. And 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 as you saw in the review, the whole strategy overnight really worked very well. 
Um, any final questions? Anything else on your mind, guys? Um, the e-mini or e-micro stock index futures are available from futures. Um, the only broker that allows you to trade MT5 is, um, oh, fuck, what are they called? AMP Global um, in the US. They actually, they will, if you're, if you're a non-US citizen, they have a non-US division, so you can open up an account with them. But ACAP, with ACAP, if you, you know, the only reason I'm trading futures is because I can't trade um, CFDs. But with ACAP, you can trade CFDs. You know, we, so you know, we can have an ACAP account um, and just simply trade CFDs on MT4. So with MT4, you would you would trade CFDs. With um, you know, with MT5 right now, I'm trading I'm trading futures just basically because it's that's what that's what that's what's easier for me to show. But everybody, there's many many people in the room who are trading trading the same thing on CFDs. Uh, that sucks, Cheryl. Get out of nature. Get out of nature. Come back to civilization. Cheryl is in the mountains and she's losing her signal. Um, so, um, all right. I mean, you know, that's pretty much where we're at. Um, let's watch the Dow. I mean, Dow is kind of interesting. You know, is the Dow going to turn or is, or, is it, or is the Dow leading everything else to the downside today? Um, still a relatively quiet, very low volatility day today. Uh, but, you know, we've got lot, lots of trading to go. So there's probably going to be a couple of switch, switch back regime changes which will be exploitable. Um, hopefully you guys liked it. Um, thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I will see you all tomorrow, um, hopefully 100%. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.